Hello everyone, I am Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how Excel is continuously talking to you through the Options tag. In my first example, I have a list and I would like to insert a column between the manager and the customer. So I'm going to select column D and then I right click and hit insert and a new column is inserted. I would like to insert another column to the left side of the date, maybe for a code. So I select column A, I right click, I repeat the same exact thing I did a moment ago. And when I hit insert, look at this column. It looks different than the one I inserted in the previous step. The reason for this, when I inserted the first column, Excel looks to the left, Excel looks to the right, and it finds the same formatting, so it applies it directly. But when I inserted a column to the left side of date, Excel is totally confused, and Excel talks to you through this Options tag. When I hover over the Options tag, I see a down pointing arrow. If you click on the down pointing arrow, now I'm going to select Format Same as Right, and automatically the new column inherits the formatting. In my next example, I have a weekday. So if I hover over the lower right corner, the small square, the autofill handle, when my mouse pointer changes to a small plus sign, if I click and drag, Excel creates an incremental list of weekdays. Maybe that's not what I want. So there is an options tag which pops up. And because I'm using the autofill handle, this is an autofill options tag. If I click on it and then select the options copy cells, now Excel is replicating the same value. The same applies to January. So if I hover over the autofill handle and drag all the way down, now I'm creating an incremental list of months. If I want to change the behavior, then I have to go to the options tag and then select copy cells. And now I'm repeating the same value. For the numbers, the behavior is different because when I click and drag, by default, Excel copies the same number down. But if I hover over the Options tag, I have the option of reversing the behavior by selecting Field Series from the Options tag. Now I get a list of incremental numbers. What about the year? Same as number. A year is a number. So if I click and drag down, I get the same exact number. I want to change this behavior and I want to increment. The autofill options tag enables me to do that. That's the way Excel communicates with me and asks me, what do you want to do? I want an incremental list of years, so I select fill series. The options tag offers me a lot more options for dates. So I do have a date in cell G2 and I'm going to click and drag down. And now I see that Excel by default increments by day, 26, 27, 28, and so on. Maybe that's not what I want. I want to increment by month, August, September, October, and so on. Or I want to increment by year, year 2020, 21, 22, 23. Let's hover over the Options tag, the Autofill Options tag, and it offers me a wealth of options. So if I select month, Keep an eye on the month, it will change automatically. The options tag is still available. So I can click a second time and say, no, I want to increment by years. So when I select years, it's incrementing by years. The beautiful option that I use a lot in my work is to exclude the weekends. So if I hover over the options tag, right now I do have Saturday and Sunday, but if I select fill weekdays, now it's excluding the weekends and it's keeping only the weekdays. In my next example, I have a list of first name and a list of last name, and I would like to combine them together. I'm going to type Nabil Murad, and I don't want to continue typing. So instead of typing all the first names and last names, I'm going to hover over the autofill handle, and then I click and drag all the way down, and by default, Excel is copying my name all the way down. But I want to tell Excel, that for each record, I just want to combine the first and last name. So where do I go? I go to the Options tag. Excel is listening to me. 
I click on the down arrow for the options tag and I select the last option flash fill and look at the magic. Excel is creating a list of full name. In my next example, I have a setup and I want to format the column header. So I'm selecting the value in cell A3 and I want to apply some basic formatting. I'll bump it up to 14. I'll bold it. I'm going to change the fill color. I'll make it orange. And let's say I want to change the font color and I'll make it dark blue. Assuming that I like this formatting and I want to apply it for all the column headers, we have different ways of doing this. I can use the format painter, but I'm going to use the autofill handle with the options tag. When I hover over the autofill handle and I click and drag all the way to the right, look what happens right now. Not only it copies the formatting, but it also copies the contents of that cell. That's not what I want. Excel is talking to me through the autofill options tag. So if I hover over this options tag and say fill formatting only, now I'm getting the values and I'm copying the formatting. In many cases, we need to do the exact opposite of this. I want to copy a formula, but I don't want to copy the formatting. Maybe because I already have a formatting. Let's see an example. If I go to the next worksheet, I have a list which shows a resident, total paid, total due, past due, and overpayment. And because this is a long list, I created a drop-down list for the resident name, and I created in cell H2 a VLOOKUP function that extracts the corresponding information for the total paid from the original source list. I also created a conditional formatting in J2 that will color it in red in case there is an amount past due, and the conditional formatting in K2 that will color it in green whenever I have an overpayment. And because I created my formula in cell H2, I want to copy this formula all the way to the right. But look what happens when I copy it. If I hover over the lower right corner and copy all the way to the right, it's copying the formula, but the formatting has been overwritten. I want to copy the formula without the formatting. I want to maintain my conditional formatting. So I hover over the little autofill options tag, and Excel is talking to me. I want to tell Excel, fill without formatting. Now when I do that, I'm bringing back the conditional formatting. If I click on the down arrow and select a different name, here is the conditional formatting. We do have some other option tags as well. So if I go to the next worksheet, I have a list which shows an employee name and I have four months sales and I have a total row. I would like to copy this list. So I select the entire list and then I go to the home tab. I click on copy and I want to paste this list right next door. I select H1 and then I click on paste. Automatically Excel is pasting what I copied, but it gives me so many other options. What are these options? You want to see the options? Hover over the paste options tag. I'm going to click on the down arrow to see some of these options. When I copied this list, I ended up by getting these number signs or fences, which means that the column is not wide enough. I want to bring the original column width, so I'm going to select this option, Keep Source Column Width, and automatically Excel is expanding and adjusting the column width. I can paste in a different way, because sometimes I need to paste, but I just want to paste the numbers without the functions, I do have some functions here, like the sum function that's adding up the total sales. So I can paste, I click on the paste command, then I go to the options tag and say, no, I don't want to paste the same exact thing, I just want to keep the values. Now I'm keeping the values without the formatting and without the formulas. Sometimes you need to do the opposite. You want the same exact formatting, but you don't want the values. The Paste Options tag is still available. I click on the down pointing arrow 
and then I select the leftmost option in the last row. That will bring me the same layout and the same formatting without any values or numbers. One other option that Excel is offering me through the options tag is to convert the original source list into a picture. So I hover over the options tag and from here I'll be selecting option number three in the last row picture. When I click on that, now I get a picture and it's floating on top of the grid. I can move it right and left. I can resize it. I can frame it. I can shape it. I can rotate it if I wish. It's a complete picture and I have a picture format tab added to the ribbon. In my last example, I can use the options tag to create a dynamic conditional formatting that can be combined with a dashboard. Let me show you what I mean. I have a simple setup which shows a manager and sales amount. And instead of reading numbers, I would like to apply a data bar conditional formatting to this set. So I select the range of numbers. On the home tab, I click on conditional formatting. I select data bars and I'll be selecting a solid data bar. I don't want to see the numbers anymore because I'm already getting insights from the data bars. So I go to conditional formatting one more time, click on manage rule, edit rule and from here I check the box of show bar only that will hide the numbers and when I hit OK twice OK and another OK now I can see the bar and because these numbers are dynamic they were created with a range between function every time I hit F9 it generates a new set of numbers and the data bar conditional formatting is reflecting the numbers what if I copy this range control C and then I paste it somewhere else, maybe on another worksheet, maybe on my dashboard. Just as an example, let's paste it in this worksheet. So I'll be pasting control V. I don't want to paste it as value. So I click on the options tag, the paste options tag, the way Excel communicates with me. And from here, I'll be selecting this beautiful option of link picture. We use it a lot in dashboards. And when I select it, look at that, because when I hit F9, everything updates, the number updates, and automatically the conditional formatting will update. Look at this, when I hit F9, it's dynamic thanks to the options offered to me through the options tag, the way Excel communicates with me.